Hi everybody, welcome back to Tuesday Tips. I'm Dana and today is part three of my Access for All mini-series of Tuesday Tips. And today I wanna to talk about breaking down barriers, particularly barriers to inclusion and people feeling welcome. Now, the two biggest practical barriers that people have to volunteering is usually financial, time and transportation. But there's also an underlying emotional or cultural barrier where we can accidentally create a very uh, monochromatic culture or something that's accidentally unwelcoming to the diversity of our community being reflected in our talent pool. And it's really our job as leaders of volunteers to ask sometimes difficult or uncomfortable questions and be okay with what those answers are. So take a survey among your current volunteers, uh, particularly those who don't look like you or don't look like the leadership of your agency and see how do they really feel uh, in this environment and what suggestions do they have to uh, make it more welcoming. Also utilize the language skills in your volunteer talent pool. If you're not already advertising in languages other than English or if your client base uh, is not already uh, new Americans or people in multilingual uh, neighborhoods, then absolutely utilize that tool of the languages within your talent pool already and reaching out and making more community connections. People will trust someone who is sp literally speaking their language and even when we're speaking American English, there's a lot of regional dialects and uh, things that can have a big influence on the type of language we're using, recruiting and retaining our talent as volunteers. It's really our responsibility to look around and say what other voices aren't, aren't here and can we speak up and stand up and say, hey, we, we wanna reflect our community and our agency and our talent pool. Let's make these very real changes to do that and make people feel welcome. The easiest way to do this is really ask and listen. How are we listening to each other? Are we listening to each other and our volunteers and our paid staff and our community members all in an equal way, in the same way. Don't be afraid of the answers that you get. It might not be comfortable at first, but we have to be evolving and changing and meeting the needs of how people today want to volunteer, whether that's more flexible things, things in different languages, more frequent opportunities, suggesting special projects, whatever it may be, use that information and create the activities that match people's why, why they wanna volunteer, why they wanna support your mission and your cause. And together, we can come up with these answers to breaking down these barriers and having everybody feel safe and welcome when they're volunteering with our agencies. Thanks and see you next time.